just going to draw some diagrams to start off this question. First of all, we're going from P to Q. And the distance is going to be D. The speed is 40 miles per hour. And the time we'll just call T. We'll stick with T. Then we're going to go from Q to P. Same distance, but now the speed is 45 miles per hour. And the time is the same time, but it's two minutes left less. Now we just need to be a bit careful because we're working in miles per hour and now we've got minutes. So I need to change minutes into hours or change miles per hour into miles per minute. I'm going to, I'm going to change. Normally we work in miles per hour. So I'm going to change two minutes into hours. So it's going to be two over 60 to go, go from minute. So go from hours to minutes, you times by 60 to go from minutes to hours, you divide by 60. So it's going to be one over 30 hours. And therefore the time is going to be t minus 1 over 30. You'll be really careful and make sure that you convert it. Now we can use um, a formula that speed is equal to distance over time. That is average speed is distance over time. So that means that the distance, which is the same, is going to equal speed times time. And for the first journey, therefore, it's going to be 40 t. And then for the second journey, which the distance is the same, so they're going to be equal, it's going to be 45 times this new time, it's two minutes less, which is t minus 1 over 30 in hours. And we have an equation that we can solve, we can find t, and then we can substitute back in to find d. So 40t is going to equal 45t minus 45 over 30. I can cancel that down, divide top and bottom by 15 to give me 3 over 2. And a bit of rearranging, if I minus 40t from both sides and then add 3 over 2, I'm going to get 5t is equal to 3 over 2. So therefore t is going to be 3 over 2 divided by 5, that's going to be 3 over 10 hours. And then the distance is actually going to be the speed times time. So if we just take the first one, it was 40 times 3 over 10. The 10 is going to cancel with that 0, and we're going to get 12 miles, which is our answer, D. Now that method works absolutely fine. I just want to go through one of the ways you could do it. Arguably, this is a bit uh, simpler. This is how the answers did it, actually. And it is instead of... Well, we started with speed equals distance over time. I use distance as speed times time, but we could instead have rearranged to make time is distance over speed. And now we know that the time for the first journey, so time one is going to be the distance divided by 40. Um, and then time two is going to be the distance divided by 45. But this, remember, is two minutes less. So it's going to be the time that it takes for the first journey minus this two minutes or one over 30. We can actually get an equation down for the distance directly. I just want to say that again. I've written down that the time, the first time is just the distance divided by the speed. And the second time is the distance divided by the new speed, but now I'm relating the two. I'm saying that, well, okay, it's two minutes less, so it's going to be the first time, time one, minus um, this two minutes. And that means we can write down that uh, we can rearrange this. So one over 30 is going to be d over 40 minus d over 45. And we get an equation to solve involving the distance and we don't we don't even involve the time at all so what could we do now well um i think i'd be tempted to kind of times through by this common factor of five so if i times each term by five i'm going to get one over six is equal to um, d over eight minus d 
over 9. Okay, that feels like a little bit easier to then um, sort these fractions out. So let's get it over a common denominator. I can times by this one by 9. So I'm going to get 9d over 72 minus 8d over 72. So 1 over 6 is going to equal d over 72. And that means d is going to be 72 over 6, which is going to be 12. So another way of doing this question that uh, you could use instead.